Casey has been found uh, not guilty of nine sex offences at that trial at Southwark Crown Court. The Hollywood star, who's 64, had been accused of sexually assaulting four men in the period between 2001 and 2013. And those verdicts just coming in in the last few minutes, uh, clearing Kevin Spacey of all the charges. These are some of the pictures of the actor arriving for proceedings. But let's go straight back to Graham Satchel, who is there, and reporters inside the courthouse saying there were tears in his eyes as he was cleared of all of those charges. Yes, that's right. Um, we're hearing from our colleagues in court that, um, as you can imagine, uh, Mr. Spacey was uh, very pensive when the jury were called back in. But he heard the jury forewoman say not guilty nine times on nine separate sex, sex offence charges and that he started crying in the dock as he heard the verdicts. Then he hugged his manager and legal team, still in tears, he thanked the court staff. Uh, this was the verdict that obviously he had wanted and hoped for. It has been a trying month here at Southwark Crown Court, I think, for all involved. There are four separate men who were young at the time that these alleged events were said to have taken place between 2004 and 2013. They all claimed pretty much the same thing, that Kevin Spacey had sexually assaulted them, grabbed their crotch in a non-consensual way, uh, touched them in ways that they didn't want, some, sometimes in ways that they said was violent, that left them feeling winded. One said that uh, Kevin Spacey attacked like a cobra. One said that he'd been driving when Kevin Spacey had grabbed his crotch and it had forced him off the road. Possibly the most serious allegation came from a young man who uh, was an aspiring actor who met Kevin Spacey who wanted uh, a mentorship. He said that they had gone for a drink and ended up at Kevin Spacey's flat here in London in Waterloo and that Kevin Spacey uh, had performed a sex act on him, oral sex on him, when he'd been asleep. Uh, so you can imagine it's, it would have been difficult for all of those four men to give that evidence here in Southwark Crown Court. Very difficult, of course, for Mr Spacey to hear that evidence. He himself uh, took the dock for two days here at Southwark Crown Court where every single allegation was gone over with a fine tooth comb. He explained to the court that his world had fallen apart, exploded when these allegations first surfaced, that he'd lost his job, that he'd lost work, he'd lost his reputation, he'd lost his money, he'd lost everything. But uh, today, after considering their verdicts for more than 10 hours, uh, the jurors have decided that Mr Spacey is not guilty on any of the charges that he has faced. More than 12 hours, 26 minutes uh, to be exact, uh, the jury was out for. And Graham, you were talking there about uh, the various complainants uh, and they were questioned, weren't they, from Spacey's lawyer, Patrick Gibbs, uh, and uh, denied either seeking financial gain or attempting to further their career or giving false accounts to the jury. So really robust questioning of those witnesses. That was certainly one line of defence. Uh, why were these men making these allegations, uh, Spacey, Mr Spacey's lawyers said. Uh, and the uh, implication was uh, that they were doing it for the money. Um, all of the men denied that, although some said that there would potentially be a civil claim made, could be a civil claim made, but it was certainly uh, a thought put in the jurors' minds that potentially uh, this was all about money. Um, the prosecution uh, were very adamant that the, this was a pattern of behaviour on Mr Spacey's behalf, that he had, um, you know, if the men were to be believed, continued this um, sexually aggressive behaviour for a period of almost 10 years. As I say, the jury have now come back and found him, Mr Spacey, not guilty of any of these charges. Uh, Mr Spacey had a similar case, a civil case, in America at the end of last year, which also found that the case against him was not uh, proven. And I should say that um, when these allegations first surfaced in 2017, the Old Vic, which is the theatre where Mr Spacey worked here in London, he was the creative director, they launched their own investigation because they were obviously terribly worried uh, about the number of allegations that were coming out. 
And at that time, 20 different people who worked at the Old Vic came forward to express their, they gave testimonies of alleged inappropriate behaviour, uh, but said that they were unable to raise them because Mr. Spacey was a powerful man. Uh, in that investigation, the old Vic said uh, that there was a cult of personality around the star and they have subsequently changed their systems. So it's not that allegations haven't been made. Allegations have been made uh, repeatedly by um, a number of men, different men over time. Four have ended up in court here. But the question that the defence asked uh, was whether, in the end, this was criminal behaviour. And uh, they, uh, I mean, it, it's an interesting defence, this, but they said that their, uh, their client, uh, Mr Spacey, uh, liked sex. They, he said it's not a crime to like sex, even if you're famous. It's not a crime to have casual sex. Spacey is a man who is promiscuous, but he just wants to be a normal guy to drink beer and laugh and smoke weed and spend time with younger people who he's attracted to. And in the end, uh, that is obviously where the jury uh, decided was the right, that uh, Mr Spacey may have been promiscuous, uh, but did it in the end add up to criminal activity and the verdict here from this jury at this court in Southern Crown Court is no. And Graham, through the course of the trial, a number of famous names gave evidence, uh, probably most prominent, Sir Elton John. That's right, so this was a very brief uh, appearance um, on a Zoom call from Monaco. Uh, Sir Elton John gave evidence along with his husband David Furnish this came down in the end to a clarification about one specific allegation. So uh, one of the claimants had claimed that he was driving Mr Spacey to a charity event, Sir Elton John's gala, one of his charity galas, in 2001. Uh, and he, the claimant had said that on the way there, on that drive, uh, that Mr Spacey had grabbed his crotch in a violent way and forced him off the road. Sir Elton John uh, was called to give evidence just to clarify that date and he confirmed to the court that Kevin Spacey had not gone to that event in 2001, that it, uh, it may have been 2002 or 2003, but it certainly wasn't 2001. Um, but you're right, there were 10 character witnesses in the end who gave evidence in support of Mr Spacey, including Chris Lemon, who is Jack Lemon's son. Jack Lemon, the remarkable Hollywood actor. Uh, Kevin Spacey was in the film Glen Gary, Glen Ross with uh, Jack Lemon, Al Pacino, uh, Alec Baldwin and others. Um, not a, a great box office success, but um, uh, a real kind of cult cinema. Uh, and it's actually an incredible, amazing film. And Chris Lemon uh, gave evidence in support of Kevin Spacey. I did 10 others, including his niece, who told the jury how Kevin Spacey had paid for um, uh, um, health care for his mother who had uh, inoperable brain tumour and said that he was a remarkable man. Many people said that he was generous, kind, hard-working man. It was one of the few moments uh, as Kevin Spacey was listening to that testimony that he had tears in his eyes. He became very emotional. He was emotional again today uh, as the jurors returned their verdict of nine straight not guilty verdicts. And Graham, of course, today is the actor's birthday. He turned 64 today, so uh, this coming uh, in the last uh, half an hour with uh, all of those not guilty verdicts on those nine charges, uh, do we know in terms of the choreography of, of what is likely to happen in the next little while? Well, uh, what I can say, Matthew, is that uh, Kevin Spacey has been very public, very visible uh, in this trial. You'll know covering court cases that quite often um, the man or woman in the dock, if you like, scurries in through a side door and you never quite see them. He's, he's walked up the streets every day. Uh, he's been filmed every day. He has smiled to the gathering public who are all out here today. So I wouldn't be at all surprised if we hear from Mr Spacey that uh, he's a free man. He said in an interview with uh, German media uh, before this trial started that he wanted to rehabilitate his career. Uh, he said that he wanted to uh, work again, that he wanted to act again. And uh, you can imagine him wanting to take control of the narrative, if you like, here and give a speech. If he does give a speech, it may, be, may well be one of the most important of his life. Um, he came to court today not knowing 
if uh, he would leave court at all, because the charges that he faced, uh, one in particular, that of performing a sex act on someone when they were asleep, would, I think, undoubtedly have resulted in a custodial sentence had he been found guilty. But as you say, today is his 64th birthday and he, he may well have the best birthday present that anyone could possibly imagine. So we don't know for certain uh, what will happen in the next um, few moments, but it may well be that we do hear from Mr Spacey and I wouldn't be surprised if we do. And Graham, we're looking at the court sketches uh, that have been done over the last few days. Uh, you talked about those proceedings in America as well. In terms of the time frame, this has hung over the actor. Uh, what is it? Because it's, it's a number of years now, isn't it, in total? It is. So the allegations first appeared in an article in BuzzFeed in 2017. Uh, and that was an allegation uh, from an American actor who claims that he was inappropriately touched way back now in uh, 1986 when he was just 14 this is Anthony Rapp uh, obviously just 14 at the time subsequently became an actor he's now 50 and he took uh, Mr Spacey to a civil court in New York um, and was seeking 40 million dollars in damages so yes uh, that, that case was not proved uh, so he walked away from that um, but yes, the, these allegations first surfaced in 2017. It was a key moment, really, for Kevin Spacey because he had been cast as John Paul Getty in a film, uh, which he was dropped from. He was replaced by Christopher Plummer on another project. Uh, he was due to be completing uh, another season of House of Cards on Netflix. Uh, that was scrapped and he was dropped from that. So it had a, th this, these allegations have had an absolutely devastating impact on Mr Spacey himself. I mean, How House of Cards on Netflix was a transformative program for Netflix, which up until that point has basically just been a publisher of films. But House of Cards really announced Netflix as um, a production company, someone that could make stuff. And the first thing they made was an absolutely extraordinary success. And Kevin Spacey was the, the heart and center of that and, and really carried it as Frank Underwood, uh, the man who uh, through Machiavellian means became president. So uh, yes, this has been hanging over a shadow, hanging over Kevin Spacey since 2017. Uh, and every time he's ended up in a court of law, he's been exonerated and cleared. Graham, stay there. Thanks very much for uh, just taking us through those original verdicts. Uh, not guilty on all nine counts. We are expecting uh, potentially to see Kevin Spacey uh, and his legal team. Uh, as you can see there, uh, all the microphones set up. So uh, as soon as the actor or his legal team come out or both, we'll obviously hear. Join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the TAO Media family. Please like and share TAO Media. We love you all. Please support TAO Media Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.